Hey guys, it's Jen and I have the Hip Kit August kits in my hands. I have all of the kits so I'll show them to you today. And we'll st go ahead and start with the main kit. Let me move these others off to the side. These kits are so cute. They are fall-ish but with some bright colors in there as well. Let's take a look at the papers first. So, we have, let's see, I'm gonna start, I think, on this side. <laughs> okay, this is from Paige Evans' new Truly Grateful collection. This is paper number six. It's got this really pretty chevron on one side that has like, froofy little bits. It's not just like a normal chevron. So that's kind of fun. And um, on the back we have a purple with kind of a pink line for a grid. So that's cute. Then we have from the Truly Grateful line paper number five. And this one's super fun. It's got all these cute little butterflies. I can't wait to fussy cut some of this stuff out. And on the back is a nice blue pattern. Then from the Maggie Holmes Heritage Collection, this is called Genuine. This is a nice like dusty purple with a white dot, which I love, and the dots are a little bit distressed. And then the back has this, I think it's navy. Um, it almost looks like a stitching pattern, but it's just little diamonds in this fun kind of broken chevron. So I love that. Then from the Paige Evans Truly Grateful line, we have paper number 13, and this one has a bunch of words which you could fussy cut and use for titles, which is awesome. And then the back has this nice star pattern, and the stars have a little bit of a modeling uh, to them, so they look like they're painted or colored or watercolored or something. So that's cool. Next, from Maggie Holmes Truly Grateful, we have Homestead, and I'm obsessed with this paper. It's so cute. Look at the little houses. Look at the little animals. There's little dogs and little squirrels. <laughs> and little hedgehogs. Oh my goodness, I didn't see that. I'm obsessed with hedgehogs, so that's so cute. Love that. And then the back is a nice, uh, that same plum color, um, dusty purpley color uh, of a chevron. And the chevron's cool because it has a little tiny white line and a little pink line. So, very cute. Next from the Heritage Collection, we have Grandma. And this is, I guess you could call this a grandma pattern. It's kind of cute. I really like the back a lot more. <laughs> it has stripes and there's just a tiny bit of distressing to it. Sorry for the um, light coming through the window. I'm going to flip some of these over to the sides that I like. <laughs> okay, this is from Amy Tangerine's Slice of Life collection. This paper is called Bamboo Blues. So there's blue and then the bamboo. And she also has a dog named Bamboo. But look at these hearts. That's so cute. I love the hearts. Okay, from the Maggie Holmes Heritage Collection, we have this paper called Olive with all of these cute little bows on a soft pink background. And then on the back, we have kind of like a, um, it has all of the little card icons, like the heart, the spade, the diamond, um, and the clover. In a, like a deep green, actually, which is kind of cool. Next, we have, sorry about that, from Vicki Booten's Wildflower and Honey Collection. Did you notice American Crafts is putting all of their things on the top now? Um, but this paper is called Queen Bee, and this is very um, textured uh, hexagon background. Very cool. And then on the back is this deep blue, and it's a really tight herringbone pattern. So that's very cool with some distressing. Next from Truly Grateful, we have this one. 
uh, paper number 15. Lots of cute little flowers that you can fussy cut out, which I love. And then on the back, this is gorgeous. I'm glad I have the pattern paper add-on because I want both of these papers. Um, but it goes from purple to pink to light pink. Very cute. And lastly, from Truly Grateful, we have paper number 14, which is the classic Paige Evans, um, where she puts all of the patterns in the collection on these little squares that you can punch or cut out to get a bunch of different patterns at once. And then on the back are all of these little suns, which this is not my favorite pattern, but I could definitely see cutting out some of the suns um, and using those, so that's kind of fun. All right. So we also have, all right, from Pink Fresh Studios Office Hours, we have these puffy alpha stickers, which are just gorgeous, a light pink. I just love these. So just the letters, there's lots of extra letters um, that you might use a lot, so that's kind of nice. Very cute. And then we also have, which is also great for titling, these are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at these vibrant colors. This is from Truly Grateful. These are the Puffy and Phrase Accent Stickers. Love, love these. Love this kind of style. Very, very cute. So we've got butterflies, lots of dots that you could use like enamel dots, and hearts and flowers. And I love that little heart with the heart, or the circle with the heart inside. Right now, you are loved. Just lots of really cute stuff, a little mushroom even. So, love that. Um, we have these from Pink Fresh Studios, just a little lovely collection. We got some of this in last month's uh, kits, and so if you still have last month's kits, this will match it perfectly. But there are some wood buttons, some just enamel circles, some uh, glitter dots, and then some dimensional stickers. So this is the mixed embellishment pack. Very cool. Then we have from um, Pretty Little Studio Indian Summer, which is designed by uh, Kim Watson, who is the design team coordinator for HipKit. Um, we have some cute frames. So there are some black and white also best moment, and then some little florals and some frames that are gold. So you can see that here in the front. Very, very cute. If you stay till the very end of the video, I'll open all of the die cut packages. Um, this is from Truly Grateful. This is the ephemera pack, 40 pieces, and this is what is included. Very fun. And again, I'll open that at the very end. So that is the main kit. Let's take a look. The pattern paper kit has the same papers that are in the main kit, so I'm not gonna show you that. But we do have the cardstock kit, which I will show you very quickly. And these are just cardstocks that will coordinate. So we have from Basil, we have two lemonade textured cardstocks. We have two quartz cardstocks and these are textured as well. We have two typhoon textured cardstocks. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. We have two Heidi textured cardstocks. We have two Arroyo textured cardstocks. This one's kind of like that, um, almost a wood grain texture. Does it say what it is? I'm just trying to see. No. Anyway, very, very pretty colors. And then some white. So very cool. That is the cardstock kit. I'm gonna get this out of the way and then we'll take a look at the PL kit and the embellishment kit as well and the color All kit. right, let's take a look at the embellishment kit. So first off, we have these from Pink Fresh Studios Office Hours. These are chipboard stickers. These are just so cute. It's back to school time for most of us and these would be so fun to create some of those pages um, or if you're a reader uh, or I don't know, I just think that these are cute. A lot of them can be used for anything. Um, you could put a pen next to where you journal, that kind of thing, so very, very fun. We also have 
these alphas, which are from the um, Paige Evans Truly Grateful collection, and these are called Happy Thoughts. They are foam thickers, but they have this on top. I think this is the way that American Crafts is tending to go now. Instead of doing chipboard thickers, they're just doing this layer over the foam so that they stick better. So I think that's smart of them. Anyway, fun font with uh, all different colors and some numbers as well. Very cute. And next we have these ink wash clear stickers from Kim Watson's Indian Summer Collection by Pretty Little Studio. And I'll just pull these out so that we can see both sheets here. They are clear stickers. So here's one sheet and I love that we just have these washes. These are so fun to use on layouts. I absolutely love them. And then this one as well. Very cool. And you could even layer these up so that you have one of these on top of a wash or something like that. Lots of, I don't know, these are going to get used for sure. I love those. Okay, and then next we have some vellum washi. And I believe, yeah, it's just this one, what you see on the front here. So very cool. And then we have the Truly Grateful Embellishments. These are the floral pieces. So this is everything you get there. Gorgeous colors, love these. For fall, I like the richer colors, but still the fun, not just traditional, like dark orange and red and brown. So I'm, I'm glad that um, fall colors have kind of... Um, They've grown up a little bit, not grown up, but they, <laughs> they've evolved. So those are fun. Again, I'll show these at the end of the video if you want to see them. And then we also have these layered stickers from Vicki Booten's new collection, uh, Wildflower and Honey. And look, you can totally fussy cut this stuff out too. I love that. Those are cute. Um, and so they are a cardstock sticker with a vellum layer over the top. I'll actually, I'll pull them out so you can see really quick. So we have the layer underneath that has kind of the pattern on it and then the vellum layer over the top and you can kind of fold up the, the layers so that you can get a more dimensional peak. So those are very cool. So that is the embellishment kit. Let's take a look at the PL kit. And I will admit that I looked at everything already because I couldn't help myself. I was excited. <laughs> I always am every month. This is a fun one. We'll go ahead and look at the embellishments first and then I'll show you the cards. So we have the Truly Grateful stickers. So this is a six by 12 sticker sheet, two sided. Very fun. We get lots of this collection, so of course that's going to match everything that is in it, all of the other kits. And then we have these glorious little mini puffy alphas, which we got some yellow ones in, in last month's kit, and these ones are kind of that ombre painty look. We've got this kind of purple, I mean not purple, pink to orange to yellow on this side. And then on this side, we have the blue, pink, and purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love those. Um, and then we have these puffy stickers from Office Hours. I can't get over this little row of books. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I love it so much. These are very, very, very cute. Um, we have these truly grateful embellishments. So there are little epoxy hearts. There are sequins, and then there are wood pieces, and this wood piece is cool because you can stitch it, but you can see on the back what they look like. So we have um, laugh, loved, and yes, a couple of flowers, and some hearts in the wood pieces. Okay, and then from uh, Indian Summer, we have the family die cut tags and tabs. These are just simple white little shapes. There's family, remember, family, home sweet home, grateful, hello, happy, and then this dot one that you could actually use as a stencil too. That'd be cool. All right, and then lastly, we have the Be Bold Frame die cuts. They are black and white, 
and very cute. I, I will um, put these aside to look through at the end too if you're interested. So that is the PL kit. Let's look at the cards. I will zoom in for the cards for you. Well, not quite so much because I love that they're now including some uh, three by eight and three by six cards because I do some pocket scrapbooking in this uh, size. I do inserts in my six by eight album in this size, so I love that they have those. So we have this one that is just kind of this uh, pink and orange. This one, which is so cute. And then we have this one, which I also love. What we did, what we saw, where we were. And these are great for traditional layouts as well. And then we have right now in the three by six, this adventure awaits tag and currently enjoying. Okay, so those are the three by six and three by eight. Let's take a look at the four by six and then we'll do the three by four. So the four by six, we have this purple adventure. There's lots of purple in this kit. So if you're a purple lover, love with a speech bubble, this kind of honeycomb pattern with those bright, um, rich colors. And then here's our August card. Now for the three by fours. We have this cute floral. Love this line. Look at that, how it's um, pink with purple lines and then purple with pink lines. I just think that's fun. This gorgeous plaid. Snapshots. I love that card captured this blue with the flowers story of today always a useful card moments like these real life with some florals a little wreath this orange with the faux tape at the top a nice floral cute little dot pattern delight and all the feels Okay, so that is the PL kit. Very fun. Let's take a look at the color kit Okay, next. so this is a really fun color kit. We are getting some more of those magicals from Lindy Stamp Gang. We have Golden Sleigh Bells. We have Ramblin' Rose Pink. And we have Teapot Purple. And if you stay to the end, again, I will um, sample these for you. We have, this is a really fun thing. So one of our design team members, Femka Koka, um, designed this little stamp set for us. It's, I think, a four by four. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's about four by four. And it's fun. It's got some textured backgrounds, um, some that you could layer together. These cute little, um, this is like a, what is this called? label and then there's pieces that you can fit into the label which is really cool and I think I'll show that really quickly at the end too just so that you can see how those layer together um, anyway we have adventure story happy fearless celebrate they kind of go together so like let's celebrate and today's adventure or today's story hello friend you could make cards with this too so very cute um, and then we have these Vicky Booten stencils, and I wanted to go ahead and open these up. Again, saving the packaging because you could totally use that on a layout, but these stencils are way cute. We have this nice floral. It's kind of like a daisy. We have this one, which is that uh, hexagon background, kind of that honeycomb look with some splattering. And then this one I love is just le as words, my very favorite um, feelings made me laugh. Oh, hey, girl. Remember, days like this make life sweet. The little joys, something to talk about. Happiness, this very moment made me smile. Remember, rolling with it and happy right now. So this is fun that you could just like stencil something through. But also if you wanted to separate out one of the phrases, you could use that on your layout too. So that's cool. All right, so that is the color kit. I will go ahead and show you the die cuts now, and then I will show you the magicals. All right, let's take a look at these. So first we have these pretty little Studio B Bold frames, and uh, I think these were in the PL kit. Now I can't remember, it's been five minutes. <laughs> 
But let's go ahead and look at these. And also, keep the backing for the pretty little studio stuff too, because how cute is that? Definitely keeping that. Okay, so we have Better Together. Now, maybe it's supposed to be right now. Wish, Life is Better with You, Heart. These are really cute frames. These would be fun to kind of color as well because they're all black and white. Dream, another frame. Be bold, be brave, be you. Shine, here we go. Look at this cute little heart one. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, so those are the uh, Indian Summer Be Bold frames. Let's take a look at these Indian Summer frames. These are called Timeless Die Cut Frames and Leaves. Keeping that. <laughs> okay, these are gorgeous. So we have like these, it's gold and then the flowers on the side. I love these, these are so pretty. So there's a bunch of those. Gorgeous. Then we have just some black and white. So these go along perfectly with the other frame pack. And I'm just struggling to get these apart. Um, some florals and leaves. Best and moment. Some more leaves. So some are black and white, some are colored. Very cute. These are fallish kind of leaves, so that works uh, well for fall photos or for, I feel like, anything. And then lots of little frames. So very, very cute there. Okay, let's take a look at the truly grateful die cuts. So we have this ephemera pack, which comes in the main kit. And we'll go ahead and open this small part first. So we have a bird. You look at that little piece that's all together. Cute little cuckoo clock or something, a stamp, some butterflies, some cute little trees. You are loved together with a pumpkin, a purple pumpkin. This is the good stuff. Stay golden. All we need is each other. Love those colors. Grateful. Right now. A flower. See the beauty in everything. Rise and shine. Be a light. And stay close to people who feel like sunshine. Love that. Okay, let's look at what's in the bottom here. So usually the these packages don't have very many florals because there's always a floral package, but there are a few in this one. So if you just get the main kit, uh, you definitely won't miss out on the florals. There's definitely some in here. And they have that gold foil, that matte gold. Very cute. Ooh, I accidentally got two of this. Blessed. Uh, this is another stitching. Like, this is like the... Um, can you see it there? Yeah. This is like that wood piece you can stitch through the holes or you can just leave it that's very fun floral piece look at that wreath a cute heart floral how cute would this be to put something on top of maybe not this but you know something um this says it got a little bit smushed but it can still be fine together and yes in the gold foiling and hello, another little stamp, happy place, hello sunshine, <laughs> picture perfect, some birds, an ampersand floral, start with a grateful heart, another leaf, and that cute little mushroom. Very fun. Okay, so those are the normal die cuts, and then we have the floral die cuts, which come in the embellishment add-on is that what when it comes in I think the embellishment kit <laughs> okay let's take a look at whatever one opened first so in the top two, top one has leaves and then the second one has flowers so there's all these little we'll just set them all out here I love these colors I think they're just really pretty very gorgeous all the colors of the rainbow. Okay, 
So these are like kind of the single flowers. Very fun. Let's take a look at the leaves. I like when there's some like delicate leaves like this, that's fun. So we've got all sorts. And the leaves are all in all different colors too. So if you wanted to make something with just the leaves and not flowers, you totally could because they have a lot of bright colors as well. So you can see that there. Very fun. And then in this last one, we have kind of like the floral clusters. So the ones that have kind of multiple flowers in one die cut. Very cute. Love that one. There. That one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, those are all the die cut packs that come in the kits. Let me sample those magicals for you really quickly and then we'll be done. All right, so let's look at each of these really quickly. First, we'll do the teapot purple. So with these powders, you just have to use a teeny bit and you just add it to whatever you want. So you can add water to it. You can add this to like modeling paste or texture paste. Um, I'm just gonna grab just the smallest amount and put it down here and then spread it with a paintbrush. I'm using Vicki Booten uh, media paper, or what does she call it? I'm not sure. Okay, so I'll just show you like this. Ooh, look at that. You can see that there's kind of like pink and blue in there. How pretty. So if you were to sprinkle some of the powder into some water that you already had down, like I'll just put this water down and then put a tiny bit in it. You can have it, um, you don't have to mix it all together. Like it can just kind of flow on its own and you get those different colors. You could add a little bit more water if you needed to, which it looks like I do to just spread it around. You can get some cool effects with this. So that's really fun. So that is the teapot purple. Gorgeous. Let's take a look at the golden sleigh bells. Okay, let's just put a tiny little, you really don't need a lot to get the color going. These will last you a long time because um, they have a lot of pigment. Oops, I got a little bit of that purpley, um, like a blue spot in it. That's just a nice golden yellow that doesn't have other colors in it. So that's pretty. And then we have Flamingo Rose, or Ramblin' Rose Pink, sorry. And you can mix these together to get other shades as well, which is cool, right? So I'll we'll just grab a tiny little bit of this. Ramblin' Rose Pink. I'm excited to see what this color really turns out like. Ooh, that's very pretty. It has a little orange to it, if you can see that. Love that. And if you mix it with the yellow, you can get some nice coral shades. So, that's cool. You can mix it with the purple too and get a purpley pink. Anyway, that nice mauve color you can get. Very cool. All right, so those are the magicals and those are the kits. So I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you'll check out the hip kits. They're gorgeous this month as per usual. Um, I'll leave links in the video description where you can find them. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon.